Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I want to do a quick tutorial for Hannah's um, Velvet Winter Hats is what she decided to call them. They're very beginner friendly and they're using a common stitch that we love called the half double crochet in between the posts or what we've learned now to call it a wide half double crochet. And we are using baby velvet for these hats so that they can be washable. The regular velvet is a little bit heavier weight and it's not washable yarn. So we wanted to do the lighter weight baby velvet so that we could toss these into the wash if we needed to. Um, H hook, but you also are going to want a G for the ribbing on this to go down. So two sizes. So I have these two sizes. Here we go my H, which is a 5 point millimeter, and a G, which is a 4.0 millimeter. And these are my Susan Bates Comfort Grip hooks, in case you are curious. That's what I like to use. Um, and so what I wanted to tell you first of all, though, is this is what we're going to be creating with that this stitch, and then we'll do the ribbing. But basically, this is how the construction works. We're going to sew that up and put it together. But let me show you the stitch first of the half double crochet in between the posts. Now, one other thing that she did, okay, I'm starting with a slip knot, is that she included a chart on the blog post and that will give you all the measurements for whatever kind of um, size hat that you would like to make. So all you need to do is make this base chain um, about, you just measure it, you can make it any, you know, the number of chains, it doesn't matter. But what you'll want to do is make your chain the width of the hat that you're trying to make. So on the chart, um, what I did for that blue fabric that we'll go back to is I made it about 14 inches, my base chain, but then it grew to about 16 inches. So keep that in mind. Make your chain about two inches shorter to the size that you want because it, it does grow as you add the stitches. All right, so this is the basic half double crochet in between the post stitch. I wanna teach it to you really quick. One, two, three, you start in that third chain from the hook and you just work half double crochets into each stitch. So if you're brand new and you've never seen a half double crochet and you're ready to increase your skills here, it's no different than that single crochet other than you're just yarning over first before you insert your hook under the loop and then you're pulling up a loop and then you're yarning over again and working through all three loops on your hook. Now working with velvet is a little bit trickier than re regular yarn. So you almost have to kind of feel your way to where those loops are, but you'll just kind of trust yourself. And um, they're a little bit hard to see. But working with this velvet, I've had my other daughters work with it as beginners, and they did fine. So don't be too afraid of it. It's really slippery and super nice and soft. But if you can keep these stitches pretty tight you will be successful at this. I think you'll really like it. All right, I'm just working on down this chain. All right, last stitch. Now you'll chain two and turn your work. And this is where the wide half double crochet or why we call it in between the posts is because you'll be inserting your hook way down below those V's just to the left of this first post. The vertical part of a stitch is called a post. So you'll insert your hook right there in between those posts and make your half double crochet. So this is gives you a little bit bigger hole to work for instead of trying to find those V's. So hopefully this is a little bit easier to do when you're working with velvet. That's what we found. We love trying to just find that big hole 
in between the posts. All right, that's all that is for this stitch. You'll work this back and forth until your fabric measures the height according to that chart. All right, here's where the last stitch belongs. It goes to the left of the post and just before those turning chains every time. And then you'll chain two and turn. All right, that's the stitch. Now let me teach you the ribbing portion for the border of this hat. All right, so here's my um, hat that I'm working that I've been working on in blue. And as I've measured it across, actually, it's about 16 inches. And so according to the chart, 6 to 12 month size is about 16 to 17 inches. So it'll, it'll probably fit about a, you know, a six month old baby is what I'm assuming. And then it says for the hat height size to do it about six in a, to six and a half inches. Well, I'm going to start, j stop just short of six inches because I want to work that extra the ribbing on the bottom actually it's going to be up here on my last row so just so you know just grab a regular um tape measure your little fabric tape measure to get your hat size and so that's what i love about this pattern you can make this any size you want you really just need a tape measure more than you need a um, number of chains to go by all right, one important thing I forgot to say is you'll want to switch to your smaller hook size because we want this ribbing to kind of narrow the hat at the bottom so you get just a little bit of, of stretch to it. So you'll still chain two and turn. And now in, the, in each stitch across, you are going to work a row of double crochet. And I still am going to work in between the posts because it's just easier to still find the top or to find those stitches to go into. And you'll work double crochet in each stitch across the row. All right, I still ended my last double crochet between the last post and the turning chain and I'll chain two and turn and now what I'm going to do is work front post alternating front post and back post double crochet so I won't start it with this one that's right below the chain I'm going to start with the next one and sometimes I like to just kind of push that post forward so that I can reach my hook behind it pop it forward and pull up a loop and then continue and then finish making my double crochet now for the back one i'll still yarn over but this time i'll push it to the back and insert my hook and pop it out towards the back and that's how you alternate the post and this creates a nice little ribbed look on the bottom of the hat so right now is we're, we're creating the brim portion of the hat. Okay, so pop one forward like that. And then yarn over and kind of pop that one to the back like that. Make sure you pull it tight, pull it through. All right, finish those across the row and then we'll turn and do the next row. All right, have you gotten to the end and wondered what we're gonna do about that turning chain? You're just going to insert your hook underneath all of those chains and finish with a regular double crochet chain two and turn and let's work one more row or however many rows you want if you want your hat to just have this tiny little you can stop right there but do you see how with a smaller hook it's kind of gathering it in that's going to help it be just a little bit tighter on the brim 
I think I'll work this um, for a couple more rows and um, see, see what I think. And then we'll tie it off and we'll sew this together. Oh, as I was sitting here realizing making this, I might not have told you, make sure we still keep these front loops to the front. This is our third row, I forgot about that. And make sure you keep the back ones to the back because that's what's going to form those nice ribbing looking lines. So front stay to the front and back to the back. All right, I have finished my about, I just did four rows and I pulled through and cut um, a fairly long tail because we're going to use it for sewing. And I've thread my little yarn through a tapestry needle, which has a larger eye and a blunt tip. And all we're going to do is match these two sides together and kind of start sewing in a, I like to just kind of sew in a circular motion is what I, it's more like in and out, in and out and around. So we're just kind of working in a circle. Get that up on there. So that's how you'll sew the two sides together. Oh, this yarn is so nice to work with. <laughs> Any sort of uh, missed stitch, you're not going to see that. It will just be hidden away. So why don't you work your yarn all the way up the side. Pull it pretty tight. And then when we get to the top, we'll gather the top of that hat in. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, I've got our two sides sewn together. It's basically almost invisible. Um, now, of course, you still have your, your starting chain or starting tail, and we'll have to weave that in later, or maybe we'll use it to secure further. But let me show you how to simply gather the top of this hat in. And now you'll just, you all you do is you work your needle in and out of the stitches and pull them, t uh, pull the, pull them tight together. You just kind of pull them together. And that's how your hat will be gathered in at the top. Now, for this baby toddler version, I'm not going to be attaching a pom-pom. And I'm assuming, I haven't tried this yet, but I actually, I'm wondering what a velvet pom-pom would look like. I haven't made one. Maybe I will later. Maybe you'll want to experiment with that and make a velvet pom-pom. Otherwise, you can buy a fur pom-pom. We think that looks really pretty. Um, but for this small hat, I don't have a small fur pom on hand, so I'm just going to leave it um, gathered at the top. I think it'll be really cute anyway. All right, I'll finish this and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished hat. All right, here's our finished little hat for probably that six to 12 month size. I need a, I need a grandbaby to try this on, but anyway, I think it turned out so, so cute and so simple. Oh, I hope you give this velvet a try. Keep your stitches tight. That is one one trick one trick that we always recommend. So even if that H hook was giving you really loose tension, go to an F and then go even, you know, a G and an F. But look how cute. So I did turn this hat inside out and I was going to tell you that I ended up just really knotting those two ends, knotting them together, tied them in like three or four knots just to really make sure that they stay together before um, anyway, there it is. So cute. Thank you everybody for coming by Daisy Farm Crafts and, um, always being so, so kind and so generous with your comments. We love sharing your projects made with our patterns. So if you want to leave us, um, a, or post it to our Facebook page, we'd love to see it or join our Daisy Farm Crafter group. Or if you're on Instagram, just use the hashtag Daisy Farm Crafts and that way we'll see your post and we love to share those every Sunday up in our stories. So anyway, I wish you much success on this darling little hat and I hope you can make it any size by using the um, chart that we found on, oh I should say, on the crochet crowd and we're 
so thankful they had that chart and it's all linked in our blog post if you're seeing this on youtube check the descriptions okay you have a good day